I already talked about uh, Swatch Stock uh, in a couple previous videos, uh, but today I want to go a little bit more uh, into details. Uh, they recently published uh, their uh, H1 report, uh, therefore we got some things to analyze. If you like this type of analysis, please remember to leave a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're new. But now, let's go ahead uh, and analyze uh, Swatch Stock. Uh, this is a very interesting stock uh, because the company's balance sheet uh, it's really impressive. Uh, that's the main reason. Uh, right now the stock is uh, trading uh, at a stock price below its book value. The book value per share is 230 Swiss franc, uh, while the stock is trading at uh, 180 and it touched a low of 150. Right now the market cap of Swatch is 9.4 billion Swiss franc uh, and the company has 10.2 billion Swiss franc uh, in total current assets. And keep in mind that probably the value of Swatch inventories is too low on the balance sheet because they said in the last call that the gold they bought increased in price, probably the same can be said for silver, therefore the value of inventories could be higher than what is at the balance sheet because in the balance sheet they write uh, the purchasing price uh, therefore uh, probably their inventories uh, are more valuable than they seem. The company has no debt uh, and the total liabilities are uh, around 2 billion Swiss franc. So the balance sheet is perfect and the stock looks uh, very cheap uh, being below book value. And we are talking about a company which owns uh, some of the most famous brands uh, in the watch industry. Therefore this is a pretty interesting one. The problem is that basically in the past 10 years the company didn't build any actual value. All the cash they generate uh, is getting invested. They are investing it in paying dividends, which is a big factor. We'll check it out later. And they are investing it uh, in capex. They need to spend quite uh, a lot uh, in capex uh, to build new shops. Uh, therefore, uh, there isn't a real value creation. The only value creation a shareholder gets is dividends, which in the past years have been fairly generous, but they have been getting lower. As you can see, 2016 dividend was higher than 2023 dividend. And furthermore, if you take a look at the balance sheet, we can see that there hasn't been a real growth in assets. Assets increased by like 10% in seven years. So no big improvement and in the meanwhile there wasn't a reduction of liabilities which are basically at the same level. Furthermore revenues aren't really growing and the EBIT margin improved during the pandemics but now is back at the lows of the past decade. And recently there has been some serious difficulties in China. China's revenues got hit and the company published a very bad earnings report. So this is why the stock is trading below book value, because there is no value creation. The only value a shareholder gets is uh, the dividend. Here the problem is that uh, if you're not from Switzerland, you're gonna pay a double tax. For example, I'm from Italy and therefore uh, I basically lose 50% of the dividend just on taxes. Therefore, uh, I'm gonna get a 2.5% dividend uh, for investing in a stock, which is kind of risky. So the risk reward is not that good. That's probably why the stock is theoretically so cheap. But maybe for uh, people from Switzerland, this could be an interesting purchase because we are gonna get uh, a pretty safe dividend from a good company with a lot of assets. Uh, perhaps if things would get worse, uh, they would cut it. Uh, that's the risk. Uh, but this company is probably gonna be here uh, for a long time. And this is why even though I love the brands, uh, I'm not investing in Swatch. Uh, the stock looks very cheap, but uh, there is no value creation, so probably it's right that the valuation is so low. Recently there has been some speculations uh, about the willingness of management uh, to take the company private. Uh, this is not the first time it happens, uh, but it gave a pretty strong boost uh, to the shares. Uh, I don't know if that's going to happen, actually the CEO was interviewed about this and he said uh, He's not interested in taking the company private, he's not going to do it. But actually, if this company was sold, was to be sold, its value would be higher than today's prices. For sure, 
I don't think they will sell it for less than 230, which is the book value. But since we don't know if a buyout could actually happen, uh, I don't think this is a valuable investment. I don't think this is a good investment right now. The stock is still too high. At lower levels, it could become a buy, but uh, I'm talking like 100 Swiss franc per share, something like that. Right now, it's still too high. But for sure, some private equity company or even some luxury giant uh, could think about buying Swatch because it's at a really interesting price. Getting a company like Swatch, which is vertically integrated with some very renewed brands at book value would be an amazing buy. If someone was able to buy it for 12 billion Swiss franc, uh, this would be a very good buy because you get the same value in assets plus you have some cash generation. So it would be a very good deal, but probably for a shareholder it's not that great of a deal if i was warren buffett i would think about buying swatch to be honest so if someone knows him give him a call and tell him to buy swatch that's it for today please let me know what you think about swatch type a comment and please remember to leave a like and subscribe to my youtube channel if you're new see you next time bye